Hey there, this is part three of my Sly tutorial run, and we're in the hub world of Wales, and we're about to do some very heavy sequence breaking. Now, normally what you need to do here is grab all these keys at the end of all these levels, and what you do is unlock this gate here that leads to the generator, so you can open it and destroy it, and turn off all this electricity. However, something to note is that anything that Sly's cane can break, like any destructible object such as this, or signs, or just anything just randomly laying around the level that gives you coins, anything that his cane can break, enemies' attacks can break as well. That's kind of a big oversight on the programmer's parts, I guess. But yeah, there happens to be a guard right above this generator, which is very convenient. Anyways, what you want to do is get up here. This is the slowest method, which is just climbing this pipe, the normal method. <coughs> and pretty much the other way that I like to do, which is pretty much tied with the fastest way, but it's a lot easier, is just to jump on this fence, jump on top of this light, and just go up. It's a much more direct path. Anyways, I'm going to wait for this guy to turn around. Wait for him to spot you here, and then run off the roof. If you noticed, he spotted me, and when he shot his attack, which is like a homing attack, it's like a homing explosive snot, on its way to chasing me, since I fell down, it, take, it takes a direct route towards me, like it flies straight towards me. It doesn't try to go around corners and stuff, so when I went, when I fell down here, it tried to go straight down towards me and hit the roof, and pretty much the splash damage from the explosion destroyed this generator. And this just skipped getting three keys, so I just pretty much skipped the need to enter all of these levels. Now there's a cutscene here, and it's actually faster to skip it and do this, this trick again instead of watching it. Which kind of sucks because this trick is very random, and <laughs> it kills a lot of runs. Now, for the sake of just showing it in the video, this is the other fastest method. It's pretty much tied in terms of speed as the light post or the light jump, but it's a lot harder to do, let alone do quickly. But you want to get on top of this po blah, 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 blah. You want to get on top of this like post thing on the corner, and from here... Wow. It's very hard to control your error control around here, which is one thing that sucks, and you can trigger this cutscene, which just slows you down. But from on top of here, you can grab this on top of the generator. From here you can just do this and make him attack you through it from there. As I said, it's about the same speed because you have to still wait for him to be in a certain part of his cycle anyways to do this, but <coughs> that's the other method in case anyone wants to try it. Anyways, uh, something I forgot to do is uh, after you load your game the first time to skip this cutscene and you get sent back to the beginning here. Oh, shoot, I forgot this is still active, even if the generator's gone. Is you want to get a horseshoe, which there happens to be a free one right over here. So if you do decide to do the, the pipe method, like climb this pipe, on the second visit, it wouldn't be that slow because it's right here. It's still slower than just jumping onto this fence here and just going up because climbing the pole is pretty slow. But, yeah, you want to get your horseshoe before you do this skip the second time. Anyways, oh, another thing is you, to skip this trigger for the cutscene, just go behind this fence and walk around it. Anyways, an interesting mechanic with this game is if you fall into water, like down here, or over like a bottomless pit, when Sly uses his horseshoe, he will like it'll send the game will send you back to the last place you were standing. Now I say standing with quotation marks around it because you can trick the game into thinking the last place you're standing was somewhere else. And pretty much when it sends you back to your spot, you'll fly in a straight line to that spot. Like the game will make sure you land in that very last spot you will, you were standing. It'll clip you through anything, you'll just fly straight to that spot. 
And pretty much what I'm doing, want to do is behind that post over there is some water, and inside this cannon, you can't really see it, but there's the loading zone, which leads to the Raleigh fight. And what you want to do is pretty much make yourself go in between the loading zone, or on the opposite side of the loading zone, and some water or pit, and fly straight through the cannon on the way to the spot that it sends you back to into the loading zone to start the fight. Now if you notice when I land there's some dirt that kind of plops out and this is a good way of like letting the game know officially that like you've just landed here. Or if you notice that I'm like being able to jump and no dirt is coming out this actually means I'm actually able to travel around without technically landing at least to the game where the game thinks I, land, I was landing. So like right here I'm in the corner. As far as the game is concerned, the last place I've even been standing is still on that corner. And one thing that really helps with doing this trick is like you just jump right before you land. But if you swing your cane in midair, it gives you a lot more time to jump again. But if you see any dirt come out during all this, it means you messed up and you landed. But pretty much what this means for me, and for you, if you're going to be running this, is that you can trick the game that you're last standing here, jump in the water all the way on the other side, over there, and have it fly you straight back to here. And pretty much what you do, want to do is get in this very corner, which can be kind of hard because this thing likes to push you away from it, as you can see. And get your nose really deep in it, and if you notice his right foot here, is standing on top of the little circular platform and I'm a little bit higher compared to like here and you want to get it so that you're on that higher part like you have to get really like really bury your face into this to actually get it to work and pretty much from here just do some wide turns and do these super jumps as they call them which is just tricking the game to the last place you're standing and from here, you see this second iron bar from the right. You want to jump out as far out towards it as you can, like as close to it as you can from here. And then just use your horseshoe, and you'll fly right through, clip through everything just to try to get to that spot, and you'll go right into the loading zone. And yeah, that pretty much skips doing all the levels except the first level for whales and you go right to Raleigh. It's pretty big. It's always fun to do this trick and <laughs> amaze people and confuse them and frustrate them because you just skipped everything they had to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much Wales. I'll cover this boss fight in the next part. So thanks for watching everyone. See ya.